Good morning. I'm Commander Barb Archer with Major Crimes. I'll give you a brief update on our officer-involved shooting that we had yesterday over the 2600 block of West Bates Avenue. It was around noon. The date was August 31st. So officers were called to the address on a person who was wanted. Uh, the information we had was that the 21-year-old male inside had several warrants and he was associated with a stolen car that was parked out front. Um, officers had verified the warrant prior to arriving. When they got there, they were led in the house and directed to the back bedroom. Officers went to the back bedroom, opened the door, and discovered that the male we were looking for had gone out the window. That male encountered officers who were outside the house who gave foot chase. The officers inside the house then also came out and started to run after him. The male tried to get into the stolen car that was parked out front. Officers had anticipated that that might happen, so they had taken their police cars and blocked in that vehicle so they couldn't be driven away. When the male realized that, he went to one of the police cars and got in it and tried to take it and was not successful with that. He took off running on foot. One of the officers gave chase and tackled him to the ground and immediately started struggling with him to get him into custody. Two more officers came over and helped to try and get him into custody. That struggle then became very aggressive on the suspect's part when he grabbed one of the officer's guns and tried to remove it from the holster. Uh, they aggressively struggled with this suspect who was trying very hard to remove the gun from the holster. At that point, our witness statements and our evidence are suggesting that the gun was discharged during the struggle. Uh, another officer, who, fearing for the safety of the other officers struggling with the suspect, then shot the male. Uh, he died there on scene. The officers who were involved in this incident are all assigned to District 4 in the patrol unit. And then uh, one of the, the officer who did discharge his weapon has been with the police department for 11 years. We did have some officers who were injured. They were taken to the hospital, treated for their injuries. None of their injuries required hospitalization. Um, the officer involved in the shooting has been placed on administrative leave, which is our standard protocol. The other officers uh, will return to duty as their injuries allow. Uh, the coroner's office will release the male's identity for us uh, in the near future. Again, this investigation is done cooperatively with the Aurora Police Department and the Denver District Attorney's Office per our established protocol. That's all I have. Anybody have any questions? Weapon of his own. Not at this, at this point in the investigation, it doesn't appear so. I won't answer that question today. Can you describe the nature of the injuries of the three officers? I won't go into that. Were any of them still hospitalized? I'm sorry. No, sir. They were all released from the hospital. Our investigation is still trying to determine that. Okay. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you, Commander. Thank you. So just give us a few minutes and then we'll have uh, Sergeant uh, Farson come back.